And it's nice to see Pixar have a win again. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Inside Out 2. I thought the first film was a really cool, unique little idea had cool themes, and just a positive little funny movie to it with great humor. All the stuff that we've all come to like Pixar for, and somewhat Pixar has kind of lost it a little bit, and happy to say that Inside Out 2 has a lot of it, if admittedly kind of going along the same route as the first one did, but not entirely. This one follows Riley going to a hockey camp. She's grown up now, she's in her teen years, and she's got the stress of going to high school, um, possibly being separated from her friends, going to different schools, and the pressure of wanting to join this elite hockey team, and then the pressure of joining a new group, peer pressure, anxiety, a lot of fear that teenagers go through. We can all relate to this. And that I thought was a little bit interesting because they are kind of going a little bit older with the demographic of the ages that the first one was. So it kind of makes me think that the third one will also mature itself into more interesting themes. But the film itself, I liked the inclusion of these new emotions. There's uh, jealousy, which isn't as evil as you thought it would be. It's a lot more realistic to it. Anxiety being the main one, voiced by Maya Hawk, which I was quite surprised because the whole time I was trying to figure out whose voice that was. Uh, and then we've also got boredom, which is just this French new way of like, and then embarrassment. And embarrassment I could relate to because I have suffered from secondhand embarrassment all my goddamn life. And even during this movie, I was like, and I was like, I was having the same kind of emotion. So me and him, we got along quite a well. But the essence of it is the core values of what Riley is has now been molded by the team joy, anger, fear, disgust, and sadness. They've molded Riley into this good person, but at the same time when anxiety comes in, they are trying to change who Riley is by kind of premeditating the errors that could happen and trying to avoid them. But then by doing so, it is causing so much stress on Riley that it leads to anxiety attacks and stuff like that. So the goal of the crew is to try and get this core value of Riley back. And again, it's very similar to that of the first film. The first one, she was bringing back the core memories. Now, this time, Joy and the crew are bringing back the core values of what Riley is. So, like I said, it is a similar plot line, very, very similar, but relatable values and ideals that are attached to it that help that possible redundancy not have as much of a, of a weight on the film as some might feel it would. I enjoyed the humor. There was a lot of really good jokes. There's some good knee slappers in here, both for regular people and people who like really bad dad jokes. Like, there was some that actually got a good laugh out of me. There's some cool animation, which by the way, of course, the animation has improved once again from the first one. It was only when I watched it at home uh, for the first one that I noticed that the characters have this kind of weird kind of sort of moving ever moving fuzziness around them and it's a much more detailed obviously in this one and then along with the human characters all of it i really really enjoyed this film sure it might seem a bit familiar to you because it is but again at the heart of it i think that there's a good value to it there's a good message to it and it's very relatable which i like because i feel that pixar kind of lost that a little bit the trying to be grandiose with a lot of things but it's like no like the, the core of a story is about someone trying to fit in and that is what inside out does uh, inside out 2 does very well it's definitely a good swing for pixar because like i said they haven't had exactly the best of wins in the last little while so it's cool to see them on top and if and most probably they do a third one i will be very interested because got some good ideas there are some dark ideas but if they were to commit even half to them, that'd be interesting. Because this one also does have a few little things that are setups for the next one. Oh, something I also did notice was there was no short. There was no like little Pixar short or anything because that's been the norm, has it not? Or is that just Disney? I don't know. I just realized that now there was no short. Anyways, in the end, my review for Inside Out 2 is a five out of seven. It's a good time. If you got kids, they'll like it. If you were a kid <laughs> you'll like it as well and yeah just an all-around feel-good movie anyways guys those are my thoughts about it 
What are your guys' thoughts about this movie? What are your ideas for an Inside Out 3? Because it's definitely going to happen. So I'm curious to see what some pe people might have. Make sure to put a TM next to your name so you can trademark it. Anyways, that's all for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. And if you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.